My name is Stephen Crow, and it's a pleasure to be this afternoon in Martin Cohen's house in Montvale, New Jersey. I'm here uh, demonstrating some things I do, how I, some of my performance, how I play within my structure. I started off with doing a free, kind of a freestyle conga. It, it, it's off of the groove of a tumbao, kind of a melodic tumbao, in which in between I would improvise with some different movements and some different solos and some different kind of rhythmic type things just to show you of how something uh, should kind of flow and feel kind of pleasant to you at the same time without going completely out of the box, kind of stay focused on what you're kind of doing. Um, I also kind of switched gears and I went into a 6-8 with the same kind of concept. Everything I wanted to keep almost the same timing and the same type of a groove to have some kind of a structure, but at the same time show you how you can have fun with it and flow with it. Then from there I went to a samba pattern and once again we did the same thing and different colors and different type of things and uh, trying to do some nice melodic stuff so you could hear the different tones of each drum. Um, if you're going to play three drums, the beauty of playing three drums is to hear the sounds and hear the tones, to really hear them uh, played so that you could really harmonically find out uh, different ways of playing and, and hear the, the beauty of it. Then from there, I played some percussion, which my toys I usually use to color and enhance. On a lot of recordings, you hear some of this stuff and uh, it always kind of marvels people, but the beauty of playing toys is how you space it. And you don't have to really clobber everything together. You try to give it enough space so that each instrument kind of has a personality. And people can really, listen to the beauty and the tone 
<clears throat> first thing I played was Rain Tree. Um, I used Rain Tree on a lot of recordings. People love the sound of that Rain Tree because it has such a big, long sound and it really adds that real wet dampness to it. And while you're playing it, underneath it, you can always play something else with it to make the sound even more <clears throat> excuse me, intense. Then from there, I moved around and played some different other colors and all. And I try to set it up in a way that there's enough space in between each one that you could really showcase each sound. That a sound is almost like if you're walking in the park and you hear a squirrel running by, or you see a bird fly by, or any kind of movement, the wind or something. You gotta really be open to hear all these sounds and. and, and and that's where I kind of get my creativity for doing that and all. And then the water phone, which is a, another instrument that has a kind of a, when you play with a bow, it has another type of voice, man. It's a very kind of a spooky. They use it in horror films and all that kind of stuff, but it has the very mystic type of sound. And then, of course, the guica, which is another, for me, very interesting. Brazilian uh, percussion, to me, is very fascinating because they've really explored the Amazon and um, they've found a way how to really portray colors and uh, insects and life. So with percussion, I feel that that's the response you should get when you're hearing uh, percussion playing. So I hope I was able to generate this and the people will be able to feel this in my playing and I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, on the one.